Boys and girls, I think we found a solution to covering up Bristol. Now, I'm not talking about putting dirt over Bristol. That's not the covering I'm talking about. I'm talking about putting a roof over Bristol. And every time NASCAR goes to Bristol, especially when they go back in March, like they will be in 2024, there's always a chance of rain, snow, sleet, literally anything can happen. And we sit around for a while and have to wait to dry the track and all these other things. And everybody's every year is like, why don't we come up with some sort of tarp system that comes down over the track? So when we're ready to go racing, we just roll the tarps back up into the wall. Well, what if we put a vinyl roof over the top of the, the racetrack there, you know, the stadium, the Coliseum, as they like to refer to it. And then what if it retracts into itself? And now this idea came from, I didn't come up with this, but it came from Germany. And you know, to quote the ShamWow guys, if it's from Germany, you know the German make good stuff. And apparently they know how to make roofs over soccer stadiums. It's soccer, deal with it. Because the NFL is playing in the Frankfurt Stadium this weekend, and you guessed it, Frankfurt, Germany. And take a look at this video real quick. You can see it closes in on itself. It starts on the edges, brings itself together right above where the scoreboard is. Scoreboard moves up on... That was a bad visual. Scoreboard moves up on top of it, and then it sucks itself in, hides itself, and then guess what? When you're ready to put it back on, scoreboard drops down, roof comes back out, and it once again is a dome stadium. What if we did that with Bristol? Marcus Smith has talked on the Dale Jr. download and publicly about wanting to put a roof over Bristol. And now, putting a retractable roof over Bristol like your Lucas Oil Stadium or one of the other stadiums, now that I'm trying to think about it, can't come up with one. Minute Maid Park, is it still called that in Houston? The Brewers Stadium has a retractable roof like that. Arizona, where the Diamondbacks play, D-backs, also has a retractable roof. I don't think that's logical to put over Bristol Motor Speedway because it's a half mile short track. That's substantially larger than an NFL stadium by a lot. And kind of having to create that, the motors that would come into having to move a roof that big, that's not going to be worth it. But what if you put a roof over it like they have in Germany, where it's going to be like a vinyl tarp. And hopefully it doesn't end up like the old Metrodome and having snow collapse in on it. Maybe you have to leave the roof open when it snows. But when it comes down to race weekend, if there's a chance of rain, you just have that come out over top of the racetrack. And then when the race is ready to get going again, when the rain has stopped, you retract it back. Because I don't necessarily think having 36 NASCAR Cup Series cars go around a racetrack under the roof is a great idea. Having said that, though, they do race dirt late models inside the old Rams stadium in St. Louis. And there's not a ton of ventilation and the roof's closed. I mean, there's good ventilation, but the roof is closed. So if they can do that, maybe they can run a cup race in there and then we'll just work in more stage breaks. Who doesn't love a good stage break in the NASCAR offices? And then you can use that to just kind of air out the place before people start to get some carbon monoxide. And we got a real issue on our hands here. Losing some brain cells wouldn't be the best for, for our audience. So maybe that's something that they could look at because it looks like it could be feasible. Bristol already has a massive scoreboard over the top of their sta stadium, over the top of the racetrack. Having to come up with something that, you know, and honestly, because it has all of those cables that run to it, you could sag those cables down, you could put tensioners on them, and then when you're ready to cover up where the tarp is, the roof essentially, over top of it, you just tighten the tensioners, bring it back up, and then it hides, you know, all of that vinyl that's hiding up there. And then when you're ready, you drop it down, loosen those tensioners up, spread the roof back out. There's going to be a lot of cables above people's heads. And NASCAR is notoriously not good when you have cables over top of racetracks. Just ask Kyle Busch at the Coke 600. But, you know, you can do it. It's possible. It could be safe for the most part. I think it's something they should at least look at. Imagine, and this is Marcus Smith, because I know this is absolutely what SMI would do. They would get this huge tarp, cover up Bristol Motor Speedway on top, and then they would have a huge graphic the size of the racetrack, the size of the whole complex there. And when you flew over, it would say, it's Bristol, baby, just in like size 10,000 font. And it would be a sight to see. It would look really gaudy in the hills of Tennessee. But they could maybe possibly do it. It would be a heck of a branding thing. I honestly think it's something they should look at. Shout out to the Germans for figuring this out because we don't have anything like that in the United States, at least in terms of roof technology. Everybody here wants to build these big glass opulent roofs that slide back 50 yards and they're like, look, the roof's open. I mean, it's like opening the sunroof in your car. It could not be more pointless. 
oh great, the sun's gonna shine in and hit me in the face because there's nowhere else for it to go other than this one little gap and it's gonna hit me. I, I'm very anti sunroofs and cars. My car has a sunroof. I've never once slid the thing back to look out of it because I don't want the sun coming into the car. That's a complete side note. And I know I'm probably neurotic for thinking like that. But I view stadiums the same way, <laughs> which is dumb. But if you ever look at a game from the Colt Stadium, Lucas Oil for, for reference, when they open the roof up and the sun comes in, only like a quarter of the stadium is getting sun. And it probably sucks for those people. They're like, man, I just got to wear my sunglasses now all game. I was going to come in, have a nice time. And now the roof's open. If you're going to commit, just either have an open air stadium or a dome stadium. I, both are fine or you could have it set up like the falcon stadium with that like twisty thing that kind of looks like the spaceship and in independence day when it opens up and you're like is this gonna be all right if we open this up is it gonna be a giant beam of light that comes up like you're the sacramento kings i don't really know but i would not like to see nascar and bristol Motors people do that we're tart people in nascar we don't need the fancy glass roofs and everything like that. Give the people of Tennessee a big enough tarp. They'll figure out how to get it across the top of that racetrack. Might need to call those German fellas to come in and help with the whole cabling system. But let me know your thoughts on this. I think it's something that could work. Granted, I only went to engineering school for one year before I pivoted and got degrees in something else. That wasn't because I wasn't good at engineering. It's just because I got really bored. Probably should have stuck with it. Doesn't matter. You guys don't need to know that. But if you're an engineer, an actual engineer, stru structural engineer, somebody, not the guy, you know who I'm talking about, not the guy that's just out here like, oh, I know how to do this. Although redneck engineering does help out a lot. No idea is a bad idea. Sometimes you've got to refine. Them. But if you think of a reason why this wouldn't work over Bristol, let me know. Because I think it could. It's just a really big project to go together. So either way, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at Break Hard, Instagram and Twitter at Break Hard Blog.